Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Well, today we're going to do an image of liquid in motion. We're going to pour some liquid into a glass and catch the action of the liquid flying out of the glass and stop the action. Let me show you what I mean. Well, here's a video of our final image. In slow motion, you can see the water going into the glass and splashing around, and as it comes out, we freeze the motion. So let's go over to the set and see how it's done. Well, here we have a glass taped to a boom stand, our camera set in front. We're using a roll of vellum between the light and our glass. And our light source is a 100 watt halogen outdoor spotlight in a clamp lamp. Okay, let's go over our camera settings. Uh, we're using manual, and at manual, when we get our cursor right in the middle, indicating a correct exposure, it says 1 one hundredth of a second at f5, and we're at ISO 100. We also are using the camera on continuous, so as you press the shutter, it fires rapid fire. So as we pour the liquid, it's going to catch as many frames in a row as possible, getting the different uh, amounts of spill that are happening in the glass. So I'm using a, a little bucket of water here with a, with a me standard measuring cup. Okay. And as we pour, we just hold the shutter down. There we go. So let's take a look at that exposure. Well, that's not bad for a start, but let's make some adjustments to this. Well, I think we could use a little more drama, so I'm going to close down to 1 200th of a second, which is twice as fast, and I'm going to go to f6.3. Again, we pour and fire rapid fire. There we go. Let's take a look at that. Well, that's much better. The exposure is better. My pour is even better. But let's try a couple more things. So that's not so bad, but I really want to try to freeze the motion of the water in the glass a little more. So we're going to go to 1 1,000th of a second and stay at ISO 400 and go to, to uh, F7 to give us a hair more depth of field. I think we can handle it exposure wise. So here we get a little bit of water, hand on the shutter. Let's have a look at that. Well, that's much better. Going to 1,000th of a second really helps freeze the motion of the water. Well, I think we've got the final exposure and we've got the uh, action of the water frozen nicely, so we're ready to start shooting some pictures. The last thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to add some blue food coloring to the water just to give it some color. So we're just going to drop this in the bucket down there, give it a little color. And on the shutter, here we go. That's gonna be nice, let's take a look at that. That looks great, I love the blue color of the water. I think it adds interest and dimension in the liquid. Let's have a slow motion look at what we're doing. So as the camera is firing, it's catching and stopping the motion of the water. Then edit through your exposures and pick out your favorite one. Well, this is my favorite image from our shooting today. I think the splash is very interesting, the motion is great, and I just love it. You'll be amazed at all the different variations that will happen. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you give this one a try. It's a lot of fun. And look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.